The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is the breeding ground of the most absurd research projects of the American government. If there is a piece of military technology that makes you stop and think, damn, that's cool, odds are it started out as a top secret DARPA project. From stealth aircraft to global positioning systems, DARPA has a track record of bringing science fiction to life. But what lies ahead for DARPA projects? What is the secret of agency working on as we speak? And what will the future of military technology look like? Here are five ambitious research projects being pursued by DARPA going into 2026. The Aircrew Labor in Cockpit Automation System, or ALIAS project, hopes to add a virtual co-pilot to a wide array of aerial vehicles. This virtual co-pilot has the potential to even take on the direct role of piloting an aircraft from takeoff to landing allowing the actual human pilot to act as more of a mission commander that can focus on critical decision-making in high-stress situations. Jet, I can hold it. Pull up. No, I'm all right. Come on. Come on. While the autopilot can handle the minute-to-minute -minute task of actually flying the plane or helicopter, Alias is projected to be so advanced that some researchers say it will be able to conduct entire missions without the need for a human pilot to actually be on board. This raises potential concerns for the phasing out of military pilots in certain situations potentially being another sector where artificial intelligence could replace human jobs. On the other hand, if Alias is advanced as some say it is, it could also take service members out of harm's way. Using remote-operated or fully autonomous unmanned vehicles has always been a goal for modern military forces. In traditional jobs, being replaced by a robot has a lot of negative connotations for obvious reasons. But in the case of military combat roles, the mitigation of human losses should also be taken into account as a potential positive. I think most would agree that it would be a net positive if countries could just have robots fight it out instead of sending human soldiers into combat. This is a really good battle in the making here. Oh, until that moment, surely, Or in this case, human pilots. Regardless of your opinions on Alias, the project is farther along in development than you might think. In 2022, Alias completed a completely unmanned flight of a Black Hawk helicopter. The automated flight lasted about 30 minutes and demonstrated the program's ability to seamlessly integrate itself into an aircraft's control systems with minimal alterations being made to the aircraft itself. The Black Hawk is about 50 years old, so the fact that it was able to be retrofitted with an autonomous piloting system shows how far DARPA's project has come in the past few years. It is also interesting to consider the very real non-military uses for Alias. In 2025, DARPA partnered with Texas A&M University to train Alias to fly Blackhawks for firefighting purposes, further reducing the amount of humans being put in harm's way during emergency situations. DARPA is currently working to try and integrate Alias into the architecture of the CH-47 Chinook. As of now, it is reported that Alias has been demonstrated on about 20 different aircraft, though the models of these aircrafts are still classified. The coming year is sure to see some major advancements in the field of fully autonomous aviation. Next is the DARPA Longshot Program. This project aims to answer one of the most important questions of modern military philosophy. What if we put a missile inside of a missile? Well, not exactly. The Longshot is a drone that can be carried by traditional fighter jets during missions. Once the human-operated fighter jet reaches the outer perimeter of a combat zone, the Longshot can be launched into the dangerous area and seek out enemy targets. Once a target is found, it can fire its own missile, taking care of the dirty work without putting manned aerial vehicles at risk. General Atomics, Northrop Grumman, and Lockheed Martin were all asked to deliver prototype designs of the Longshot drone in 2021. General Atomics was ultimately chosen as the winner and is currently working alongside DARPA to create the final model. In 2024, the Pentagon submitted a request for an additional $10 million to be added to the program. The Pentagon also reported that work on the Longshot should conclude sometime in 2026. Finishing the project so soon may seem like a long shot but it was reported that General Atomics finished the final design phase in 2023. 
As of now, it is expected that the long shot is already undergoing final flight tests. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Calhoun, a DARPA program manager, is quoted as saying, the long shot program changes the paradigm of air combat operations by demonstrating an unmanned air launched vehicle capable of employing current and advanced air to air weapons. While aerial dogfights are thrilling to hear about and are some of the ultimate tests of aviation aptitude, long shot has the potential to make such situations a thing of the past. The next DARPA project takes us from the sky to the ocean. The No Manning Required Ship, or NOMARS project, seeks to create a naval vessel that can sail the high seas completely on its own. An experimental prototype ship named the USX-1 Defiant has already been built and is described as having no provision, allowance, or expectation for humans on board. The Defiant is 180 feet long and weighs over 240 metric tons. The first model completed production in February of 2025 and was seen in public for the first time off the coast of Washington State the following month. The ultimate goal is to have a naval vessel that can operate by itself at sea for a full year at a time with no human intervention. Once the kinks are worked out, some military strategists envision an entire fleet of completely uncrewed, reliable, and cost-effective ships to extend the reach of the U.S. Navy. The potential benefits to having an unmanned naval fleet include greater reliability, extended operation time, reduced logistical complexity, and, of course, reduced overall cost. As expected, the vessel carries a wide array of weapon systems and comes with the ability to launch and control smaller drone boats. Serco Incorporated is currently partnered with DARPA in designing and manufacturing the ship and has announced that it will soon begin its at-sea demonstration of its reliability and endurance. What this entails is unknown at this time, but we could see the Defiant launched on extended simulated deployments in 2026. Some sources have even begun hinting that the Defiant could officially join the U.S. Naval Fleet in the next couple of years. Turning our attention back to the sky, DARPA and Northrop Grumman recently announced the XRQ-73 unmanned aerial reconnaissance craft, also called the Shepard aircraft. This new UAV drone uses hybrid electric architecture and can reach speeds of almost 300 miles per hour. As of now, it is reported to weigh about 1,250 pounds and can operate at altitudes up to 18,000 feet. Many details on the new drone are still kept secret, but the Defense Department has stated that the Shepard will be better suited for operating in near-peer environments such as China or Russia. This could imply that the Shepard has far better stealth capabilities than drones that were used in countries like Afghanistan. Motivation for creating a stealthier reconnaissance drone has increased in the past few years as traditional Predator drones have started to become increasingly vulnerable to America's enemies. The hybrid electric architecture most likely means that the drone will also be able to operate much more efficiently and have a greater operational range. This would be vital while collecting intelligence over larger countries. The demonstration model of the Shepard was completed in the middle of 2024, and flight testing was scheduled to begin at the end of the same year. However, news on the Shepard has been strangely quiet ever since. More information about the Shepard is expected to be revealed in the very near future. Lastly, probably the most ambitious DARPA project is the 10-Year Lunar Architecture Program, or the Luna 10 Program. This project seeks to interconnect all international lunar landing activity and create an infrastructure network that would organically support all lunar missions. This would allow NASA, international governments, and even commercial industry to scale up lunar exploration with the eventual goal of creating a thriving lunar economy on the moon. All of these buzzwords are tantalizing to hear, but what does the groundwork of the Luna 10 program actually look like? In 2024, the first capability study was completed that created a hypothetical framework for what a future lunar economy would look like. It was announced that building on the moon would be divided into four different phases, the explorational, foundational, industrial, and jet phases. Each of these phases would focus on tackling different logistical issues like transportation, power transmission, and communications. Michael Nyack, a DARPA program manager, has said that current technologies from private companies as well as foreign governments could be stitched together in order to create a self-sustaining lunar economy. 
the Commercial Lunar Economy Field Guide was released in 2025 that further breaks down what a potential economy on the moon would look like. In this guide, it also explains what industries could expand with the development of lunar colonization. These industries include oxygen extraction and energy production that would help support civilian space travel. For now, lunar colonies only exist in science fiction. But there is very real work being done, as we speak, that could bring regular people to the surface of the moon in the next couple of decades. There are definitely some common themes seen in DARPA's current projects. Fully autonomous vehicles seem to be garnering the most research attention. Self-driving cars are clearly just the tip of the iceberg. In the coming decades, we could have self-flying fighter jets, rescue helicopters with no human pilots, or naval vessels with no human crew. This raises some interesting philosophical questions. On the one hand, this could be another sector where human jobs are eliminated. Military jobs have historically served as a great avenue for people to find gainful employment. On the other hand, military jobs fall under a special category. Fewer human service members could mean fewer human lives being put at risk. What are your thoughts on DARPA's current projects? Should we continue to pursue research into fully autonomous military vehicles? Does artificial intelligence have a place in America's military? Let us know down below. And if you found the video interesting, feel free to subscribe to the channel as we release weekly videos covering some of the most fascinating modern military vehicles.